Hi, David here from Bigfoot Videos. Ah, uh, in reality, let's look at it this way. In reality, how far have we really came to finding Bigfoot? Well, since Bigfoot was first discovered, and back in who knows when and where, uh, they're all over the whole United States, actually on many, many continents, Bigfoot has been seen, has been studied, has been researched, <coughs> and nobody has come up with one yet, legitimately. Best footage there ever was was right here, the Patterson Giblin film, which some people call it a hoax, some people claim it. Who knows? Will we ever know? I really don't know. I'm not going to say either way because I've seen both uh, sides of the story, whether it's a hoax or if it's real. <laughs> now if you look at it, Bobo, Matt Moneymaker, Renee, Cliff, I don't know, I, I watched their program. I watched uh, a lot of them. And they are no farther ahead than when they started. Screaming in the woods that night, Walking around, must be a Bigfoot here, must be a Bigfoot there. I, I, like I said, they didn't go farther than ahead when they started. The show, the show has some great entertainment value though, that I will admit. <coughs> you know, and, you know, they go and such and these people claim that they saw a Bigfoot. And, in no doubt in my mind, they saw something. I'm not saying it was a Bigfoot, but they did see something. 250,000 people, out of 250,000 people, let's say, cannot all be wrong. There's been a lot of sightings out there. How many of them are true? Well, if you kept, say, 250,000, and you say, hoax job, but just, uh, we're just saying, that leaves you with uh, 125,000 people left. Okay, out of that 125,000, let's say half of that was actually a bear. So now that leaves you with what? I don't know, 60, 70,000, let's say 75,000. Okay, 75,000 people out there are left. So, could they all be wrong? Could all these people be wrong? I don't think so. There's got to be a fine line between all of this. But let's get back to where we were. How far have we come to finding Bigfoot? Well, in reality, we have not gone anywhere. No, we haven't. If you really look at it, we haven't gone nowhere. Matter of fact, we're still dragging our feet. Why? You got the hoaxers out there, the trolls, the bolds, the haters, uh, mostly the hoaxers. There's plenty of them out there. Now, I, what? Well, a lot of them make their own footprints. I'm going to go with 95% are false footprints. Now this is just my own opinion. 
those pro footprints don't mean a pinch of crap to me but, uh, are true I've been out there plenty of hours I've spent many days out in the woods where big quotes have been sighted I found a lot of bear tracks but never ever have I ever found a sorry I'm not going to believe it until I find my own big footprint Another one is the tree structures. A lot of these tree structures are weather related. Whether it's a tornado had came through in the last couple of years, uh, powerful rain storms, storms, hail damage, deer, bear, you name it, tree structure thing has definitely gone way, gotten way, way out of hand. Just like the footprints. It's because uh, you see a footprint and you take a casting of it. So-called footprint. Some of them footprints, people don't you know the old saying, if it's too good to be true, don't believe it. That's exactly what I say. It's too good to be true. Same with the tree structures. I don't believe in the tree structure thing. Why? It goes back to hoaxing. And there's, there's been some pretty good hoaxers out there. Um, now if you look at it, now look at Todd standing. He tried so hard, so hard. He missed, fa failed, just failed miserably. Why? Everybody was on his back and he all he knew the boxer. I caught that right away. Yes, I did. Here's another one. Um, and he has recently popped up, Dr. Matthew um, with his portal theory. I just can't suck that up. I just can't suck it up, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sure he had his dreams, people, his whatever, and whatever touching his genitals, and God knows what happened to him. I'm not going to, uh, I'm sorry, I can't suck up his stories. They're just, uh, there's nothing, there's no uh, proof, shred of evidence, nothing to claim his stories. Nothing whatsoever. He's, got a, he's gathering up a massive amount of people that believe him. And they're just as bad as he is. Portals. Orbs, dreams, food dishes, wild animals are eating your food. I, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Johnson. It's just, uh, it's way too far-fetched for me. Um, I'd rather believe in the UFOs than you and your portals. Again, sorry, that's just my own opinion might not be worth much, but it's my worth my opinion, and I'm going to stick by it. Then you got your other hoaxers, your weekend hoaxers that uh, just put one out. Yeah, I saw this. And you got your picture taking people. And let me tell you, they're getting worse by the, every day. Every day they're getting worse. I can't believe these people put this crap out there. These are people in suits. And they're making the suits a lot better now. The monkey suits, the Bigfoot suits. They're making these a lot better than what they used to be. It used to be, you had to have a good imagination to make a Bigfoot suit. Now, they're getting 
better. The Hulksters, I try to make Bigfoot look more real. They're trying to take better photographs. <coughs> Whatever it takes, they're trying to try and pass this off as a Bigfoot. And then, there we go again. I'm going to go back at it. I know I'm going to repeat myself on several things, but that in, in any case, that's just the way it's going to be. <coughs> it's too good to be true. Do not believe it. Now we all know that bears, they don't have a den. They will make their own den out of raw materials that are laying in the woods, such as logs, broken branches, <coughs> excuse me, broken branches, pine tree, boughs, you name it, they will use it to make their own den for the winter. And then you go around stating that it is a Bigfoot den. Well, there's bears out there, and I was reading Bigfoot hunt, and what the guy actually saw, and this bear was massive, the black bear. The, Blair, the bear, I am going to estimate, was at least five, six hundred pounds black bear. <coughs> this black bear, in my eyes, if I had to measure this black bear, it was stood, if it stood on its hind legs, would have stood at least seven, between seven and eight feet tall. Yes. And of course weighing six hundred, five to six hundred pounds, hey, it's a Bigfoot. Now, a lot of these people that do see a Bigfoot, the camera's shaking, it's too blurry, it's too fuzzy, it's this, it's that. They got more excuses on why. Battery ran out of the recording, what have you. I, uh, there's an excuse for everything. Most of these pictures are nothing but an elaborate hoax. Nothing more than that. If you got a close up of a Bigfoot that close, and I I don't know what to say. I don't know what's good if I don't know what I would do if I got a picture of a Bigfoot that close. You know, actually, I'd get more pictures of it because I got I carry more than one camera with me. Um, but most people are just running around making noise out in the woods, looking. Oh, signs of Bigfoot! Oh my God, that's like Bobo. Bobo, hell of a nice guy, hell of a nice guy, good sense of humor, uh, you couldn't beat anybody more nicer, but there you have it, oh, broken tree branch, signs of Bigfoot, same with money, money maker, it's always a Bigfoot out there, always a Bigfoot, oh, pile of leaves, must be a Bigfoot, oh, Fresh tree break. Hmm. Twelve feet high. Hmm. Must be a Bigfoot. I don't know. I don't know uh, where this comes from. People getting rocks thrown at them. Hmm. Must be a Bigfoot. Oh, tree knocks. Here's another one. Tree knocks and rock throwing. Well, I've been out there plenty of hours, plenty of nights. <coughs> Never had a rock thrown at me. Never had a wood knock. Nothing. 
I've never had nothing done to me. And I've been in hot spots of this creature. And absolutely nothing. Reality, there we go back to the old thing. It's too good to be true. Don't believe it. Um, how far have we come to finding Bigfoot? Well, science doesn't say anything much about it. Melba Ketchum, <coughs> renowned uh, person in their field, believes it's a human hybrid. <coughs> well, she's going after people for money now to fund her project, which when she was with the Erickson project, they got pictures of a Bigfoot sleeping. Well, why didn't they catch this creature? And I mean, they were up close to this creature. They were that close to this creature. They could have put a net over the top of this creature. Why? Because it was sleeping. Why didn't they put a net over this creature? They could have caught this creature alive. Alive, they could have caught it. But did that happen? You never hear Melba talking about this anymore. You never hear uh, her talking about the five or so sightings that she actually is witness to. And she says it clear on many of the videos. I saw Bigfoot, or a human hybrid, as she calls it. <laughs> and it, and here's a here it's a thing. The thing I do believe about Melba is the DNA samples. Now the DNA samples see they they've been contaminated by humans. Well, the reason I believe that they're contaminated by humans is because it's a human hybrid. Okay, um, I'm not saying. I let's see how would I explain that? It'd have to be a Bigfoot. You know, it's got to have human DNA. A Bigfoot, I would say, has to have a human DNA of some sort in it. Um, I don't know really how to explain it, but I'll leave it go at that. It's I I don't know how to really explain it, but uh, it's about the best guess I got, it's a, and I'm going to agree with Melba there. It's a human hybrid of something. Um, <laughs> me personally, I think it's a uh, gigantic, gigantic. Pithka, Gigantopithka type situation here we that we have <laughs> because Gigantopithecus has blood found. They do. We know that they exist. They're out there. I think that Bigfoot is a subspecies of this type of creature, Gigantopithecus. I truly believe that. Uh, why am I not with a crypto crew? Well, they got their thing, Bigfoot people have theirs, I have mine. And that's just the way it is. I think uh, Bigfoot is a subspecies of Gigantopithecus. It doesn't come from a portal, but it lives out there among us all. That's all I'm saying. That's my belief. Why haven't we caught it? Well, in the first place we're looking at, I think we're looking at the whole thing wrong. I mean, we need to go back to the basics. Uh, to wildlife basics, I guess I'm going to call it. How, to, how and when to start, I have no idea, but uh, something has to change, because we're never going to find Bigfoot to where we're going. Nobody's going to find Bigfoot. 
you're all out there looking but you're all looking with not a straight mind you're looking more at it as something out of the ordinary which it is out of the ordinary so that's just the way it is reality too good to be true yes it is mountain monster people you guys are you're not even good entertainment so I'm not even gonna mention your name real bullets and them guns I don't think so anybody in their right mind would a hunter a true hunter would put up with the crap that you're doing you don't even uh, make good sense so I'm not even going to bring up your name because uh, you're not even worth talking about or your in, your entertainment value is piss poor. But anyways, let's get back to uh, how far have we really come to finding Bigfoot. Like I said, people, we ain't any farther than we were when we started. We need to do better research. We need to get to science community more involved and I think uh, Melva Ketchum is on the right track with her DNA um, hybrid human hybrid theory that is more of a human hybrid than it is a ape or what have you uh, with her DNA um, because every sample that is sent in, uh, it, it, they're sent back human contamination. Well, that human contamination, I think, is, belongs to the DNA process itself. You know, it, it's in the DNA. It's not because somebody contaminated it. It's because it's actually there already. So, I, I wouldn't uh, rule that out. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't rule that out. So, with that in mind, people, how far have we really come? Not a whole lot. We gotta do better research. Gotta get science involved. <laughs> do some better camera work. Don't believe in the footprints, tree structures, the wood knocking. None of that makes any sense. <laughs> so, people, with that in mind, y'all take care. I'll talk to you later.